Hi David. Evening all. Hi. How are we doing? David David's under good. pressure at the minute. Yeah, this is our second trip. <laughs> we failed last time. So. Yeah. Fish tails, sardines, olive oil in brine. Uh, beautiful sardines from Cornwall. Uh, one of the best of the world. And David, you see the photo right here, is our fisherman. We went out fishing, and if you want to know how he's fishing, stay tuned. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? So for me, one of the most amazing, delicious species is sardines. And for many years, I've seen sardines on menus, on tins, um, and, and often I've seen these like corny sardines. But what are corny sardines? Well, the answer we will give you today, because I'm here in Newlyn in Cornwall, Southwest England, beautiful area, but this is the place where it's going to happen. We're going out fishing with David Pescu, and he will show us how to catch these most delicious sardines. So maybe first you can introduce yourself. Okay, good morning. I'm David Pasco, a fisherman from Newland in Cornwall. Uh, we're currently fishing sardines in Mounts Bay. So when we're sardine fishing, we generally leave the harbour sort of 45 minutes before dusk to try and locate where the fish may be, which part of the bay or one thing or another. And then when we get a feeling for where we think the right spot would be, locate the shoal that seems to be moving less or higher in the water, all the things that attribute to us catching it. At the moment, we're just searching for the fish using sonar, and there's a piece of fish now come. There's a piece of fish come onto the screen, I bet. So, because it is a little bit rolly, the balance of the sonar will be slightly misleading because. Of but that is a nice mark. I would say that's a few tons of fish. So, if I might get the boat in the right position and start setting the net shortly, I think. When I was growing up as a kid, lots of fisheries just got exploited. Exploited too heavily, and we're in a different era now, and for the last 20 years, I guess, things have changed and, and changed for the better. Nothing goes to waste. I mean, if the, if the orders are not there, we can be, we're contacted before we sail, and we just fish to order, basically, so we're not overfishing. With a little bit of management that we have in place, we hope that generations after me can do the same thing. And I'm sure that should be pretty secure. I've got a choice of two now. I think I'm gonna go for the far one. It's looking a bit crispier. Ready, mate? Okay. So that's the end of the purse. Okay. So we just have to retrieve the length of it back into the boat then and the fish will be concentrated in what we call the bunt end, okay. where we can go to work and get them on board. There's a few tons in there, I think, maybe two tons.
to recognise a nice fresh sardine. Around the gills, sometimes you see them in the supermarkets and they start going a bit red, but you don't want to see any redness near their face really. Gold is the colour you want. All the colours, rainbow like colours going down through the, the backbone and nice and firm. So if you picked up by its head, it would stay straight like a cricket bat rather than a boomerang. Descale them, put a few score marks in them, shove them under the grill, crisp them up and enjoy.